Alright, hey guys. Today I got uh, something really cool. It's a 3x4 door, which is super fast and super compact. So all you do is you, you flick your lever right here, and nice and fast it opens up. You flick it again, and it closes. Simple as that. Alright, now I'm going to show you just how compact this is. Forget this hallway here, this isn't very important. I just did that for looks. But, the redstone, believe it or not, is only three wide for this entire circuit. Three wide by nine, I believe. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, three by nine, and then it goes up 12. So, what we got here is we got this uh, double piston extender that I made in the last video right here. And we put it right on top, and then that first double piston extender that I made in the first video, we got it down here with a little bit of modifications to make it work with this circuit. Then we just simply uh, use some slime blocks to bring it down, but to make these slime blocks not stick to these blocks and bring these up, we have to have these side pistons here extend outwards, or retract, before this one moves. So this one has a little bit of a delay, but right when these are done, this one moves instantly. As you saw earlier, I'll do it one more time. You click it, and now it moves. Just not even a split second later. So it's super compact, and uh, let's get on to building. You're going to start off, you're going to make your 3 by 9 area. So you want to dig down three blocks right there, and go all the way until you get 9. So 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now So to start out, you're gonna wanna count one, two, three, four, and the middle one right here. You're gonna come in here, gonna break that middle block, and hopefully not fall in the void because you're not. You you won't. You're not building this in creative, or maybe you are. Who knows? Anyways, you're going to stack two pistons on top of each other like that. And now you're going to want to put the comparator there in subtract mode. Just like we did for the other one. Now you're going to place the repeater there. You're going to hook up the redstone like this. You're going to do the same thing we did last time. Just a little bit different. Now we're going to place this here. With that block there. And a repeater going here with a block there. Now you want a block on top of this sticky piston there as well. Alright, now to build the two stack tower, which is now only one stack up from your floor there. Place a torch there, and a block on top of it. Alright, all after you place this block right here, with the torch on that side right there, you're going to want to come over here. You're going to want to make this four ticks, this two ticks, and then this four ticks. Alright, that should be the circuit done right here. One last step for this little double piston extender is repeaters on here. Redstone dust there. A block right here with a torch on it. A block right here with a torch on it. And then you're going to want to take this redstone dust right here, bring it here, and place a repeater going into there. Alright, that's the bottom of it done. So you can take your slime block now and whatever you're building your door out of and you can take that slime block and let's just use some lapis to make it look nice and pretty and that's your bottom done. Alright, so you're going to want to take a block and place it on top of this torch here and now you're going to want to come right down get a slab, I'll use stone stone is gorgeous and you're going to want to place it right on the tip of this torch here the redstone dust and another slab coming out with the redstone dust here now you're just going to want to stack up and zigzag with these so there and I'll just build this to help me out so a slab there a slab there a slab there a slab there slab there and one last slab right a shamer alright you can break all the temporary blocks you use to put those slabs there 
And now you just want to come and put redstone on all these slabs. So now you're going to want to make a tower right here in front of these slabs here. And you're going to want to ex make sure these pistons are extended so you can build the rest of your door. So see, they are they should be extended. Now you're going to build one, two, three, four on both sides. And now on the side of these blocks, you're just going to place your sticky pistons. And they all should extend. Beautiful. All right, now you're going to want to come to this torch over here. And basically do the same thing, just this, since the torch is in a different spot, it's going to be a little bit different. And I'm getting some lag, holy, there we go. Alright, you're going to want to do a little bit different. The zigzag is a little different here, since the torch is here with the placement. It's going to come back around like this, and as you can see, there are only five, five slabs. So... Once you have your torch there, you're going to come right underneath it like before. Place a slab there. And then another slab going outwards away from it. Right here. And now we're just going to zigzag like before. So I'm going to build a few blocks up as temporary. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now what you're going to want to do is oh that's not allowed no 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 you're gonna want to take your redstone place it right there beautiful dandy and take your blocks and just build them up on this side of these all right now it should look a little bit like this you're going to take your piston and right on the sides of these blocks here you're going to want to place sticky pistons just like that. Now if we were to come down here, put a lever right here, everything should retract and be dandy. So let's give it a shot. Everything did not retract. This did not go down one block. So here's the problem. You're going to want to, so this will retract. So it won't retract unless you have an immovable object right here. I'll just put an obsidian because that slime block will stick to that wool. And same thing on this side. You're not going to want these grass blocks here. So put some obsidian there. And you should be fine and dandy. All right. You see if we click the lever, everything goes up nice and fine. And click it. There we go. Simple enough. So instead of obsidian, because obsidian is kind of ugly, I tend to use note blocks. Note blocks look quite nice. And they make good framing. They, they work good with wood or basically almost anything to do with slime blocks and building they just look really nice i love note blocks all right and there you have that and we flick the lever comes right up looks gorgeous great all right time for this top part here so you're going to want to come up here and as you can see right here we have our old design we're going to go right above this piston right above this piston here uh, we did not need those. We only needed five. All right, you're going to want to come right above this piston here. And I'll place a temporary block for now. Where'd my slabs go? Come up like that. Place your redstone. Oh, not repeater. Place your redstone dust. And now we just connect it to the old circuit. So we go up on over like this one place a temporary block for now place it on the side right there beautiful and now we're going up into this circuit that we built in the last video as you can see nice simple compact double piston extender except the only difference is we reverse it in this and the inputs on this side so in order to do so, we should come right in the middle over here. We're going to come down to this block here, place this right there, because that's going to be where it is when it extends, and we're going to place slime block right on top of it. You're going to want to come up above this, go one, two, three, four, five blocks, delete all these, come underneath, place two sticky pistons, 
and you should be set for now. Now we all we need to do is place, let me get my yellow wool back. Place a block right here, and now all we need to do is connect this. So into this block like we built before, we're gonna have a repeater here and a redstone dust right here. And so we're gonna place a block here and hook that up just fine and dandy. That's going to activate this piston, which activates this. Now we need to come down here Place our repeater right there, make it go into a block, and you also are going to want, at this point, immovable blocks right here. So make sure this block is an immovable block. So come right underneath that, place your redstone dust. As you can tell, you might want to make whatever this redstone, this here, the ceiling of your hallway so for, as example right here this is diorite so I put the diorite and it will be powered so if I wanted it to be a have a a note block casing or if I wanted it to have let's just say a stone brick casing we will come right here and we will make that stone brick so now the ceiling is going to be stone bricks and also, you might want to make your frame around this entire thing out of immovable blocks. I suggest no blocks. They are my favorite to work with when it comes to slime blocks. And here we go. Simple as that. Just make a quick frame like that. So now this slime block will not stick to that. And if you want to cover this area, it's quite simple. No blocks like that. And then you can do the frame on the other side. All right, so now that we got our stone brick ceiling right here, whatever block you want to use, stone brick's just an example, you don't have to use it. Come down right here, place this redstone dust, and then place a block right there. All right, now all we need to do is hook up the pulse to make it grab on to the piston, or the slime block. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a torch, like this stick it right here and we're going to bring it around like this going straight into a comparator and redstone dust like this and now right here you're just going to place a repeater you got to put this repeater on four ticks and this one on three slime block is sticking to this right here i'm sorry about that you're going to want to bring this and put something that's immovable right in front of here and then place your comparator on it. All right, now it is all working fine and easy. Simple as that. Opens, closes, opens, closes. All right, now when you're done here, just simply cover it however you want to cover it. My suggestion is, I mean, right here you can have your stone brick casing like this and have it come outwards like this. I mean, like I said, you can use whatever blocks you want for this. It, it's not a problem. It's easy. And if you want this lever, all you need to do is have it connect anywhere on this redstone line here. So we can, I'm going to take it from right over here, and I'm going to bring it right behind this wall here. I'm going to take this lever input, and I'm going to put it right here for now. It's going to be super easy, super simple. Or not. I, I apparently can't grab levers. But anyways, you're going to want to place it down right there. And as you can see, and my sound's turned off, you can open it up, close it, open it up. So there you have it, that's your redstone door. Same thing on the other side, just, uh, you know, make your ceilings. Make your floors, make it a hallway. You All you need to do to activate it is have an, a lever input going into these, and you can easily have a button on each side using a T flip flop. T flip flops aren't hard to make, as long as the output comes to this line here. It's simple as that. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, 
This has been Redstone with Triangle Potato, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more.